Jace Wielder of Mysteries plus Leveler. Is this the new best combo in War of the Spark? Or is Karn Lattice the best combo in War of the Spark? There's arguments to be made here. They're both two card combos. We're going to put this to the test for science. I mean, they're both fine cards on their own, you know. Karn's a one-sided stony silence, can just be randomly good in modern right now. Could tutor hate pieces out of your board. Uh, Jace, he draws cards. So, I don't know. We're going to put it to the test. Um, so, as usual, before we get started, thank you very much to all my patrons. Y'all are the reason this channel gets to keep going on. And if you'd like to support the channel as well, Patreon is the best place to do so. And with that, let's get right into the deck tech. Hope you enjoy. So we are throwing this combo into a blue-black control shell because we didn't want to delve into a three-color deck because Jace Wielder of Mysteries is a triple blue card, so we wanted our mana base to be a little bit consistent, and I feel like black-blue would give us the best chance to survive and also get off our combo. Starting off with our playset of Jace Wielder of Mysteries, brand new card out of War of the Spark. It says if you would draw a card while your library is empty, you win the game instead. So it's kind of like Laboratory Maniac. And this plus one mills for two and draws a card. We don't care about that last ability. Then we need to pair this with Leveler. So when it enters Battlefield, remove our library from the game. And then we plus Jace, draw a card with our library empty, and we win the game. So it seems pretty easy to assemble since so it's just a two card combo. Very similar to like Through the Breach Emrakul, but this one is just a little bit cheaper. So I I think it might be better, but let's find out. On to our cantrips, we got a play set of Serum Visions and Opt, that's a lot of cantrips just to help dig for our combo and then remand as well as a tempo piece along with drawing a card. This should ensure that we should be able to get off our combo on turn 4 into 5. On to our removal, because we do need to protect the Jace to get off the combo, we got Fatal Push as our cheap removal to sweep away the small creatures, and Damnation to sweep away the rest. And then Liliana is a really good control piece, makes our opponent sack creatures and also makes them discard their cards as well so that they lose out on answers. But Liliana is not our only hand disruption, we also got Inquisition and Thoughtseize to pick apart our opponent's hand to take out their specific answers for our combo. We got a total of 24 lands because we do want to hit our 4th and the 5th land on curve so that we can get off our combo consistently. And we do not want to miss our land drops, especially with Liliana making us discard redundant cards. We might discard land cards, but we want to make sure we get up to 5 mana on curve. And onto the sideboard, we got three copies of Dispel just in case our opponent's trying to counter our combo. We got a Collective Brutality just to go duress mode, but also can kill creatures if we're going up against Burn. Uh, we got a playset of two Ley Lines Ley Line of Sanctity and Ley Line of the Void. Ley Line of the Void is obviously for the graveyard decks like Dredge, and Ley Line of Sanctity is to protect our hand from hand disruption so that we can keep our combo pieces. And then three copies of Negate, again against control decks and against combo decks as well as Tron. So that's about it. I'll get the stream started, and I'll see you in the first round. And before we get into the gameplay, you know what time it is. It's time to welcome some brand new patrons to the family. Justin Pastrana with your Tier 1 pledge, and Mike Karayama with your Tier 3 pledge. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. That is super generous. And welcome to the Marination. And with that, let's get right into the gameplay. Got a game here with Jace Leveler. We get to be on the play. And that is a keepable hand. That is a push on turn one for their mana dork if they have one, or like a glistener elf if they have one. And to remand something into Lily into Jace. So, good good turn progression. I'll start on the, like, I would normally start on the watery grave here, but just in case I have to push something on turn one, might as well start on the fetch. Oh no! They suspend an ancestral We can't do that yet. We can't do it yet. We can't. We have to wait till next turn. We have to wait till next turn. Come on. There, there's no. They have no counter spells. There's no way. Unless they have like, they gotta kill Jace here. So they literally have to go like fetch shock thought seize, uh, street race street raid death shadow, and then like give it haste somehow with like what's that that jump start card, maximum velocity, which I doubt any of this is about to happen. There's no way you're gonna kill Jace here. This is all. Oh, they're holding up a counter spell. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. We got a backup leveler. We have the backup leveler. Yeah, let's get the lucky swamp. The lucky swamp, just to ensure that we win. Just to ensure it. Leveler. Come on. Come on. Please. 
please. You can't spell pierce this opponent. You can't spell pierce that. Oh, they have summer denial? Don't tell me you have summer denial. Don't tell me you got stubborn denial. They would have cast it by now. Oh, it's a non creature? Oh, yeah, you're right. Stubborn denial is non creature. It'd be busted if it, it said anything, because it'd just be like, I'm playing a deck with goifs. Stubborn denial is one mana counter spell. That'd be busted. And it resolved! Yes! Tick of Jace. And that's how you win with Jace Lover. Oh wait, the, it can kill Jace in response. Don't tell me you have like a Simeon Spirit Guide Quicken Dreadbore. And we got there! Yes! Nice! Alright. Do they have hand disruption? I don't think they do. I didn't see any. Um, but I think I want... Do I want Ley Lines? No. Collector Brutality seems fine. Negates are okay. The spells are probably good, because they we know they have spell pierces and stuff. Um, so let's cut the opts. Or would I rather have Serum Visions? I think I'd rather have Serum Visions. Run it like that. If they had Elder Spell, they don't have Elder Nobody runs Elder Spell. They're not going to run Elder Spell. If they had the S SSG Quicken Dreadmore, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't even be mad, Zero Dame. Alright, okay, that's six lands leveler. That has to be a mulligan. That is four lands leveler with a dispel. I don't think I can I don't think I can keep it. You know, we're on the draw and we get a scry, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, there's Jace. Keep that on top. So we got our combo. We just gotta survive and resolve it, which is gonna be a lot. Alright, Watery Grave tap, pass. I don't think I have to leave up the spell right now, so it's fine. Fatal's looting. Couldn't dispel that. Murderous Cut, Fatal Push. Thank you for keeping in removal spells, opponent. That does not interact with me. Okay, cool. Uh, so play Flood Strand just in case I need to dispel. And let's Inquisition you. Okay, let's see if they're going to spell pierce here. Spell pierce? Nope. I will fetch for an island and dispel your spell pierce. Inquisition, what you got? Young Pyros? I'll take one of those. Alright, so opponent has young Pyro, but nothing else. Young Pyro is good. Oh, that's a push. That's a push. Wait, 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 wait. Play the land first so I can pay for a spell pierce. All right, push that. Come on. Oh, they did they actually draw a dispel? Did they actually top deck a dispel? Okay, they didn't. All right, so lucky us. Okay, we got Jason the Leveler coming up. Jason the Leveler coming up. Have you tried Ashiok and Demir Mill? I have not. Um, I'm not. I'm not a fan of. I mean, I am a fan of it, but I just think it's really f like that. Ashiok's pretty fragile for modern, but he's super good for modern. Exiling your grave every turn. It's actually super good for modern, but it's just the fact that against a lot of decks he'll be pretty fragile and do nothing. But against a lot of decks he'll be good. Alright, so Dreadhorde is going to flash back a... Okay, their Ancestral, I think, is coming off of Suspend next turn, so they can cast it again and draw a billion cards. But they're not going to kill Jace, so I'm going to play Jace and take it up, try to draw land, and see if we can resolve this leveler the following turn. They have no bolts to flash back. Wait, why am I milling them? Oh, we drew the land, though. We drew the land. Alright, so levelers come down next turn. Opponent, you gotta draw something good off this Ancestral. And they can also flash back Ancestral uh, by attacking with Dreadhorde. Let's F6. See what they got. Or is this the one? 
How's your name? I got the land. I drew it off Jace. Yes. Okay, so they're up to five cards. They're going to attack and go up to eight cards. So just completely new hand. They just literally wield. Fetching. Are they just going to tap out for like Kalidas or something? Oh, they're going to Serum Visions. Oh, they need a Dreadbore or something. It's difficult to deal with the leveler because, you know, like spell piercing to spell and negate. Oh, no! Oh, no! See, I needed them to not hit a bolt. Just to not hit a bolt. Man! Now we're far off. We need to, we need to draw another, another Jace. And now they can, like, get an Ancestral back. I can remand the Ancestral, though. Oh, they dispel- they put another one out there. Alright, play the fifth land, pass, leave up remand. Second leveler, pretty redundant. A lily would be pretty decent. Uh, I would like a lily. Yes, the lab man- the lab man, yeah. Inquisition. Alright, might as well remand, see if we can draw another Jace. Okay, Inquisition whiffs. We had it, dude. We had it right there. Now they can flash back the Ancestral, do the whole shenanigans. MCG Goldfish to Planeswalker wave deck based around Karma Druid Dao and New Jace and Nissa. Sounds interesting. Alright, let's opt. Give me another day. There's another Jace! Give me that! Play an island. Polluted Delta just in case they got like Stubborn Denial for one. Which I don't think they even run that, but might as well be safe. Man! Well, they're not really clocking us very good, so I guess that's a plus. Only, only iffy part of the combo is Jace's survival rate. No, Jace is good at surviving. It's just that they just went bolt, snap, bolt, basically. And, uh, which is not going to happen much. We'll play Jace on an empty board. We got pushes and inquisitions and lilies to, like, clear down the early game. So Jace has a pretty good shot at surviving. It's just that they, they got the tempos. They got the tempos. All right, we got Wraths in our deck, so this is fine. If we can top a Wrath, we're right back in it. Because they literally only have two cards left in hand. They do have a lot of looting, though. It is normally just very bad. Wait, why anyone with non-leveler... Why would anyone run a leveler to non-combo deck? There's no reason to. Unless you run Laboratory Maniac, which was probably a combo before. but It wasn't very good, but now it is. Thought sees. Okay, might as well. Oh, wow. All right, well, you know, Dread Horde flashing back Bolt is probably enough to get there. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But then, like, if I find a Jace off the top, like, what am I going to do? Yeah. Didn't get there. Um, I have the dispels in for that that counter spell shenanigans, but do I also need negate? Because I want the rest of my stuff. I guess remand is not the best there, because a lot of their spells are really cheap. So I guess cut remands for negates, and I just 
guess bring back into Serum Visions. Try it like that. Yes, we will be on the play. Okay, Inquisition into Brutality for Duress Mode. Opt. I'll keep it. We're going to start on our Lucky Swamp just to ensure victory. That's a good idea. What's the most common three color combination that you see? Probably Grixis. People play Grixis a lot. Grixis and Jun are probably the most common three color combinations. As for Commander, it's probably Mardu. A lot of people play like either Queen Marchesa or Edgar Markov, like Arcalia of the Vast. A lot of just people a lot of people just play Mardu. Alright, fetch for our our lucky swamp. Ensure the game. And Inquisition you. Young Pyro Dispel Looting. I kinda wanna take looting here. Uh, probably makes sense to take Dispel. You know what? Dispel is a, a literal do nothing in their hand right now. I think I take Looting, and then I. Okay, they can't Dispel a Sorcery. So take Looting, wait until they play Young Pyro on turn two, and then just Brutality it plus Duress Mode and take their Dispel also. Seems like a plan. Soul Tie is the king color combination. Yes, of Commander, Soul Tie is, in my opinion, and probably factual, the best color combination. Ooh, there's Lily. Alright. Island go. Plan on opting. Alright, change of plans. Instead of collecting brutality next turn, we are going to go with Lily Sack. Put it in range of bolt, but that's fine if they want to waste their bolt on Lily. It's just a bolt that's not going to Jace, so. Come on, opponent, tap out. Tap out for the young pyro. Is Maelstrom Wander still played in Commander? No. I have, like, since I started playing Commander, I have never seen anybody play Maelstrom Wander or Commander. And Teamer, it's usually Animar Soul of Elements people play. Animar, like Riku of Twin Reflections, but nobody really plays Maelstrom Wander because it's a very slow, it's very clunky. You gotta have Hyper Ramp to get up to it. The spell, I think I'm going to... You know what? I kind of want to top that. You know? There's an argument. I know no matter what I do, YouTube comment section is going to say, you should have done the other one. But I think I'm going to bottom it because I want to find a Jace. Okay, there's Inquisition. That's pretty good. Alright, so let's fetch and shock our Watery Dave. Play Lily. Make you sack. Don't have a gut shot, please. Okay, no gut shot. Perfect. Flashes back looting. Alright, we're on a good stretch here. Good start. You loving all the new cards in Green Black Tron War of the Spark? Wait, Green Black from War of the Spark? Oh, there's Jace! Ooh. Alright, um. Uh, take up Lily. I think let's ditch Collective Brutality. And let's play a Jace. Alright, nice. I take up Jace on them. I don't want to mill my levelers. Ditched K Command and Scalding Tarn. Krenko is the only good commander. I mean, a Krenko Loyalist could argue that, but I don't know. Okay, Lily's gone. That's fine. Mill you. Uh, Inquisition you. Alright, with Negate up, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Disdainful Stroke, that's being taken. Gotta push for a future dude. Jace is pretty healthy. I can even old Jace in a couple turns if I want to. Negates up, pushes down. Young Pyro. In response to the fetch, I will push your Young Pyro so you can't flash back looting. They concede! They don't even want to. They know Leveler's coming. 
They they know the levelers. They, we don't even have it. They don't even want to risk it. They know the levelers coming, and we got there against Grixis Pyro. Sweet, that is sick. You know this combo is actually pretty good. I like this combo a lot. This combo is really easy to assemble, and like Lily and Hand Disruption support it so well. Let's move on and see if we can do that again. Got a game here with Jace Leveler against Mafu's Van Gogh. And we get to be on the play. And that looks like a keepable hand. That's a lot of cantrips, so we can find what we need. And starting with the Inquisition with our Lucky Swamp, so that's a good sign. But I think we gotta start on Dark Slick Shores just because of the rules of magic. So Healy the Gifted is your commander, Philip? Your your prized commander? I would say right now, right now I would say that, that Zer the Enchanter is like my best commander that I have assembled. Okay, so it's Storm. So let's take their... I mean, Sleight of Hand is the best cantrip they got here. Alright, so our call is pretty slow compared to theirs, so we have to hold off. So it's going to be a tough one, but we'll try. But the Lucky Swamp can uh, solve any problems. Okay, there's part of our combo. So let's start on... Uh, opt. Oh, there's Lily. Lily's good. Put that on top. Um, now let's fetch and shock Watery Dave and Serum Visions again. Uh, I want the island. Dark Slick Shores can go to the bottom, but I want the island to play Jace. Oh wait, no, I don't need it, because Dark Slick, yeah. So put that on the bottom. Do you have the Baral that I can make you sack with Lily? Let's see. They have Thing in the Ice. Okay, this is not as scary. So Dark Slick Shores, Black, Black, Lily. Make you sack. I mean, TBH, I should have made us discard, but you know what? That's fine too. Just in case, because like the, these decks are capable of flipping the Thing in the Ice. The turn after they play it, they go like Metamorphose into Metamorphose, like Opt Bolt, and there you go. And I don't want a thing in the ice to flip because I want my Jace to be good. A bolt going to Lily? Sure. That's a bolt that's not- Oh! The combo! The combo! The combo! Here we go, guys. Jace. Let's take up on ourselves. Opt and push. Alright. All right, opponent. All right, opponent. What you got? Are you going off or are we going off? Decide. Choose now, opponent. You must win. Right here. Pa okay, okay. Good start, good start. Manamorphose. Okay, good start. That's uh, probably optimal start for, for the Pyromancer Ascension setup. Don't have a second Manamorphose. Slide a hand. Okay, so there's one one counter on the Pyromancers. But I think you already played a land this turn, right? Didn't you already play a land? Yeah, you did just play a land, so you literally cannot do anything with that one red except, like, Faithless Looting. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. We did it. Fetch the Flooded Strand for an island. Tap five mana. Leveler! Remove our library from the game. Tick up Jace on herself. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> okay. That's how it works. Uh, on to sideboarding. Okay, we know they're not Grape Shot Storm, so... I mean, they could be. They could be Grape Shot Storm. But I saw the thing in the ice and bolts. So, oh no, they're probably Jess Guy. They're probably Jess Guy. Because Jess Guy, Pyrovancer Ascension, uh, wins with, like, Thing in the Ice, Helix Bolt, and just copies Helix and Bolt a bunch of times. 
So we could bring in Ley Lines, but I think Leyland of the Void is probably safer. Uh, and then Collector Brutality is decent. And Dispel is pretty good, I guess. Um, cut the... Yeah, cut the Wraths. I think pushes are enough. And cut Remands. They're not good here. And then just like a couple Serum Visions. And... What else? Negate. Couple negates over like a couple over a couple serum visions. Try it like that. You really just lose your marbles when you have the combo in hand. <laughs> Lol. Uh okay, part of the combo with a thought season to spell and negate, so I'm gonna keep this. Scalding turn. Tyrn. Yeah. Thoughtseize and Inquisition are really not good against these kinds of decks, but when they have actual key pieces like Thing and Pyro, uh, I think it's important to uh, keep those effects in your deck. But usually against like Storm, it's not good, because literally you can take anything and they just can't trip back into it. Storm is literally like all four ofs, except, you know, a couple things. Alright, Polita Delta. We're lacking black for Lily, but we can draw more. Um, yeah. Thing. Serum Vision Slant Hand. Okay, take the thing. So, just three cantrips. Serum Vision Slant Hand opt. Same thing as last game. And I think I actually just negate a cantrip just to, like, lower their card count. I, th I don't think, uh, if I were them, I wouldn't start on Serum Visions. I would end on Serum Visions just to set up for the next turn, because if they literally double cantrip, it's just not doing anything. Okay, in this case, I think I'm just going to leave up Negate for potential Pyromancer Ascension, because I'm fearing it. Let him opt here. Yeah, see, now, now like, since you opted here, you're just going to draw what you just described with Serum Visions. You dig deeper if you opt first and then Serum Visions. Alright, show me that Pyro Ascension. I can deal with anything here. A thing in the ice I can push. Flashes back looting, you know, that's fine. This song's a little bit loud, but this is for science. We'll hear in the video how loud this song actually shows up in the VOD. I'm actually, I think I'm using this song for the intro of the video too. But it's an, a new one I just added to the playlist, so we'll hear how loud it is. Serum Visions, yeah. This negates stay in Toasty for the uh, for the Pyro. And this push plus the spell for the thing. I just noticed we drew Leveler, so we got the combo. Just need to find lands. And have it not be Dark Slick Shores. Man, that's a lot of can tripping. They be tripping. Okay, they're done tripping. Arclight Phoenix. Hello. Um. Okay. That's a thing. All right. So now we know what they're up to. They're not storm. Give me like. Oh, come on! I need lands. I need lands. We're gonna be dead pretty soon in this arc light. So we definitely need to mull for the, the Leyland of the Void. Leyland of the Void, like, shuts down their Pyro Ascension and their Arclight Phoenixes, making their only win con the Thing in the Ice. So if we bring in uh, back in the board wipes, we should be good. That's fine. I probably should have actually negated that because they can ditch Arclight Phoenixes. Yeah, and they did ditch an Arclight Phoenix. Wait, how many? They ditched two, yeah. My instinct said to negate that, but that's fine. Land, please! 
Ah! All right, well, ditch a leveler. Your kingdom for a swamp. Manamorphose, I will dispel that. Stop you from getting back your arc lights. Maybe I shouldn't have revealed Dispel. Because, like, I we have a very low odds of winning this anyways. You know what? Screw it. Negate. Reveal it all. Reveal it all. I'm trying to just let them not get double arc light packs. Oh, yeah. They got back all the arc lights in that game. Alright. On to sideboarding. We know we have to mole for a ley line now. Because ley line shuts them down very good. And I have to bring back in the, the Wraths. Because... Pretty good here. So I guess we cut a couple... Probably negates. Yeah. Because Leyline alone shuts down what we want to negate. Alright, try like that. Come on! Opening hand Leyline. Opening hand Leyline. That is what we need. Gotta shut down everything with that. Guess we will be on the play! That is not a Leyline. And Inquisition plus Dispel. Oh wait, that is a Leyline! Keep that. So literally, ley line, and then then um, Inquisition your thing in the ice, and then that's literally it. So it's thing ascension. So fetch and shock, a watery grave. Okay, Snapcaster. Ooh, Blood Moon. Well, you know, Blood Moon is super annoying. Blood Moon is annoying because we need triple blue for Jace. I think I just have to take that. I might just have to take that. I may just have... Yeah, I can fetch a basic. I can have two basics here. But then, like, when the Blood Moon comes down, I can't cast Lily. I can't cast Jace. Like, I, I'm gonna need to draw one more basic island to cast Jace. Yeah, I think the Blood Moon is just too crippling. I just have to take the Blood Moon and hope I draw removal for the, uh... Hope I draw removal for the thing in the ice. Nah, dude, it's... Like, I literally need to draw an island or another fetch to get the third blue. I, it's, I think it's... It's too risky. It's too risky. I think I have a better chance of drawing into uh, a, a thing in the ice answer than I do... Okay, see, there is a thing in the ice answer. Polluted Delta, go. Yep, fetches. I have to get a swamp here, too, just to, like, be able to wrath... Okay, there is the island. There is the island. So we're not dead to Blood Moon, but I want to get a swamp. Feel the deal. Oh, feel to wrath. Get this thing in the ice off the board. Just play a second thing. Okay, Manamorphose. Do I want to dispel that? Part of me wants to dispel that. Kind of want to dispel that. If they don't draw a card. And they don't get to chain off of spells here. Because, like, what do I care about dispelling besides this? Like, bold for my Jace? Like, spell pierce, probably? But they don't have a spell pierce. We know that. We know they don't have a spell pierce in hand. Unless they top decked one, but... I don't know. I think, yeah. Th I'm gonna dispel it. Your phone has been dead for 10 minutes. Alright. Um, nothing, nothing, I mean, we got off the combo, so that's what happened. We got off the combo once in game one. Man. Alright, I'm not gonna wrath yet. I want to see if they play another creature, like a young pyro. Or, they don't play young pyro in this, but if they play a second thing or like just <gasps> flash snap. Funny every time. I love that that notification. I hope it came out the right size, but 
Yo, Disturbed Cannon with the Prime subscription. We are one, one sub point away, one away from a new emote, a new emote. We're going to get that nut emote. We're going to get it. If, so yeah, I guess it's a time, an opportunity to mention again, if any of you guys out there have Amazon Prime, you get to subscribe to any Twitch streamer for free once a month. You get to use one free subscription. So if you don't use it on me, use it on your favorite Twitch streamer because there's many deserving Twitch streamers out there who could use that sub. So yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, then you have Twitch Prime and you can get a free Twitch Prime subscription. To anybody so they did end up flipping the thing but that's fine because I can wrap that away how do you gift the sub there should be a button like right up where you click the follow button there should be a, a thing that says gift a sub um, that's how it is on my screen I don't know how it is on yours but I don't know any alternatives, but for me, it's literally right at the top of my screen. Like, where the follow button would be, it would, there's, like, a spot for gift a sub. Um, that's probably just for the creator, though. Or you can probably just, uh, exclamation point subscribe, or, like, just go to the panels down below to subscribe, and maybe there's an option for gift a sub. I'm not sure. Okay, we got the Jace, so we have to Wrath here. Um... Yeah, let's Wrath. Alright, so combo's in hand. Combo's in hand. We need to survive. We need to survive. Is there an option for it? If someone does gift on stream, please give it to you. You can't sub to anyone on Twitch. Yo, Phil. If you're gonna gift anybody a sub, give it to Master Noob. He's here all the time. And he can't subscribe to anybody on Twitch because he's young. You don't have money. Alright, we're gonna fetch our island. So now we don't get locked out by this blood moon. We don't have any more black mana, but we can Jace. Oh no, I should have played around Spell Pierce, but oh, that's fine. Alright, here we go. Take up on them. Alright, Leveler is coming down next turn. Opponent, do you have a Disdainful Stroke? Do you have Disdainful Stroke? There's Opt. Alright, let's draw first. Wait, no, 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 wait. Wait, that makes sense. Because we can... No, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Leveler. Don't Disdainful Stroke it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Did we get- Oh! We got there! Okay, you know what? To- To protect myself from double bolt on Jace. No, 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 no. I plus Jace, and if in response to double bolt, I opt. Yeah, there we go. I opt in response to double bolt on Jace. So... Yeah. So we're gonna take up Jace. They, I bet they have double bolt. We did it! Yes! Yes! Our combo is better than their combo. Taking down Blue-Red Phoenix. Is it Phoenix? I haven't played against that deck in a long time. It's been kind of falling off just because people are getting so bored of it. And, like, there's been so much, uh, like, in the modern community, there's been so much hostility towards that deck because, like, was, like everybody's like, oh, Phoenix, it's so annoying, it's so dumb. And so, like, a lot of people just stop playing it because of all the hostility towards it. And, you know, people are bored of it anyways. But, yeah... We came out on top. Blood Moon did not shut us down. We took one out earlier, but they got one again. But we came prepared this time. So that's super awesome. This combo is proven to be pretty good so far. So let's grab another game and continue this train. Hey, that rhymed. We got another game of... What is it? What are we playing? Jace Leveler against Hookie again. We played against this guy like three videos in a row. Or, like, we played against this guy, like, three times over the past, like, month or two. Okay, we can opt into Remand, try to find a Planeswalker. So I'm going to keep that. Stomping Greens. I 
Island Go. Double Remand, not bad if they do have a bunch of three drops. Let's see if they're on Ponza or Escape Shift. Sacred Fa Oh, they're the guy who's on the prison deck. Yeah, the, the Naya prison. Chalice on one. Well, in response is opt. Island to the bottom. There's another leveler. We need a Jace, though. Darks look shores. Pass. Leave up remand. So what can they do to shut down our combo in this deck? This prison deck? Probably... Okay, they don't run Blood Moon. We found that, because we played against them three times now. So we know they don't run Blood Moon. Let's see if they're going for Tireless Tracker here. Blo oh, they do run Blood Moon. Alright, remand that. So we gotta fetch our basics. We gotta... Gotta fetch our basics. So play... Flooded Strand to get our third island. And then the, if we can survive a little bit longer, we can use the Pluto Delta and Verdant Catacombs to get swamps. But we got the islands we need. Tracker. You know what? Do I just not pay attention to Tracker? Because I'd rather remand Blood Moon. You know what? Just do it. Just do it. Inquisition. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, no, 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 I can't. I can't. They got the chalice. They got the chalice. Tracker again, sure. Jace could be an awesome commander. Is there any commander Jace's? Jace Vrind's prodigy, I guess. Witness the meme. You got rid of Death Touch Creatures and Desolator Magic's list. That's a Desolator Magic list? Really? That Gadul Lurker, like, military intelligence? That's actually a Desolator... That's... I mean, I'm sorry, Desolator Magic, but that's bad. That's bad. Okay, so Jace is in danger if we play it, so we have to find, like, a Lily or something to make them sack that Tireless Tracker. Why do you have a basic mountain in a Blood Moon deck? I guess to play it painlessly. Uh, Pluto Delta, go. Dang, this chalice. You have cracks a clue. It's fine. <gasps> Yo! Yo, Phil with the gift sub to uh Ka Kali Galetto 3. Thank you. Sorry, Master Noob. Thank you, Phil. That's the 15th sub point. Let me see. Let me see. Dashboard. 15 of 15 sub points we need. The next goal is at 25 sub points. So we are 10 away. But we get a new emote, guys. The nut emote is coming. The nut emote is coming. <laughs> Alright. Wait, so is my end step? So next stream we'll have the nut emote. I'll, I mean, maybe. Because like, I'll have to like make a really good one. But I'll try. Tonight I'll work on it. So it should be her next stream. Which will be on... Uh, next stream is going to be on Monday. Hides inside sadness. It's all good, Master Nib. The only thing you're missing out on is Blood Moon emotes, or Blood Moon and Nut emotes, which are going to be some of the best emotes on Twitch. But you know, there's you still got the, the there's some good free ones like Stinky Cheese. Stinky Cheese is my personal favorite. Um, oh my dog and uh, Stinky Cheese are my favorite free emotes. I also tend to use Lol and What Face a lot, but who doesn't? I need to get Lily. Where's my lilies? Helix is my face, sure. Can they actually get lethal here? They can get lethal here. Oh, 
Okay, they didn't go for it. Do they have a helix? Nahiri. All right, remand. Where's my Liliana's? Fetches the wood of foothills. Temple Garden. Shocked. Alright, are you going to helix us again? I mean, in a deck like theirs, trying to kill creatures, I'd run like Justice Strike or something. Nahiri again. Sure. You want to do some spinach ravioli to celebrate? Why not nuts? Why not eat some nuts? You should go. You should get some chocolate covered almonds to celebrate for the nut emote. Okay, on to sideboarding against uh, Naya Prison. Bring in the gates, and uh, that's all we really need. So we can cut Serum Visions. Yeah, I want to keep the rest of my stuff. Yeah, there's nothing else, nothing else we really need. We have no way to destroy Chalice, so if that comes down, we're screwed. But we can, unless I have Simeon Spirit Guide and play it on turn one, we can usually just negate it or remand it. So I would like to play first. Uh, Yeah, got the combo, so I'm going to keep it. And I can uh, Inquisition their potential Chalice. And these double ops should find our land drops, and that should be all she wrote. They do have some burn spells, but I think that against them, our combo should be relatively safe. Like, I don't think they have any way to interact with it. They have Goyf. I don't have any push, but I think I have to take the Blood Moon. Yeah, I'm taking Blood Moon. They got Nahiri. So Goyf's annoying. But hopefully we can find a push for that early. Um, I'm going to play an island and then opt to see if I can find more hand disruption. Remand to the bottom. Give me a land. That is not a land. Alright, well, pass the turn. Maybe I should have just passed and left up the thread of remand. Or, you know, they would play remand. Who doesn't play to remand? It's like literally something you have to do. 15 combo, here we come. Apparently you can type the person's username after you select gift sub. Oh. When she had to give gift to specific people. That's what you did. Just kept clicking your name and it wouldn't go any further. Oh, you can't gift a sub to me. But I appreciate it again, Phil. Thank you very much. You're the... You're the, the bomb moderator. Okay, Watery Grave, I'll keep it because it's a land and I need lands. I'm not playing around Blood Moon here. Okay, I have to play the Dark Slick Shores because it's my untapped land. Alright, two turns. Opponent, do not Blood Moon me here. I swear. Don't do it. I. This is it. We're like literally Wombo Combo 4 into 5 right here. And if you play a Goyf, don't grow it to be really huge. Okay, Scooze is better than Goyf here, so I'm, I'm, I mean, Scooze is less scary than Goyf here is what I mean to say. All right, here we go. Don't Helix my Jace. Do not Helix my Jace. Mill you. Oh, they can have creatures to eat. Okay, Sinner Vines. Why'd they bring in Sinner Vines? <laughs> we don't have anything for them to kill. Oh no, it's whenever we cast a non-creature spell. Yeah, they probably think we're just going to cast a bunch of spells and deal us a bunch of damage. That's a good card. Oh no, they had it! Okay, but we have the backup Jace. We have the backup Jace. And they're missing land drops. They are missing land drops. Don't have a second one, opponent. Please and thank you. Don't have a second one. I'm going to mill myself because I don't want to mill creatures. Alright, play. Watergrave tapped. Pass turn. Alright, come on. 
Come on, opponent. Don't be lame. Don't have another helix. Don't have another helix. Oh, they're just going to combat. They're just going to combat. They are attacking... Jace. Don't do it, opponent. No. Oh, Koif. Come on, pass the turn. Yes! We got off the combo. We got off the combo. Leveler! Exile my library. Jace on ourselves. There we go. The dream. Take that, hooky. On the sideboard. Leave it the same. That chalice is really annoying. If they can turn one chalice, we're pretty screwed. What a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> That's a lot of hashtags, but they're all accurate. You're getting on the ground floor for when you become a superstar streamer. You'll you'll be the OG host, Phil. I think yeah, you and uh, you and Drew or not you and Drew, you and uh, and System Forty Two Hundred are the OG. Uh, I modded you guys both at the same time. But yeah. Okay, this is ultra, ultra risky. This is as risky as it gets for this deck. I'm keeping it. Because if they have turn one chalice, I literally die. Okay, thank goodness they don't have the turn one chalice. No SSGs. And that's not our lucky swamp. So this is this is a very risky hand because that's, that's not our lucky swamp. This is the unlucky swamp. Oh, they do have chalice. Take the heck out of that. But they do have Goyf plus um, Helix, but I do have push for the Goyf. But at least we dealt with the Chalice. Now I can go push plus Serum Visions, find more lands. That is a 3 4 Goyf. Oh, no, not Serum Visions. Push on the Goyf. Shock a watery grave. Where's my Lilianas? I have drawn no Lilianas against them. Serum Visions, give me lands. Those are not lands. That's a Lily, but it's, I need lands. They're gonna Blood Moon us. I know it. Okay, no Blood Moon. Ooh. Okay, well, now I have the third land, so I can just leave up uh, Opt plus Negate for their Blood Moon. And then I can uh, surely draw into a land here, and unless it's a Black Leaf Cliffs, and then I can play Jace. I just gotta find the leveler. Stomping Grounds, shocked. Is it Nahiri time? It is Nahiri time. No, sir. No, sir. You know, there's an argument for letting that live, because I don't care about it really, but. If I don't get my combo quick enough, they can ult Nahiri for Emrakul, and I'd be screwed. Leveler! Oh, I want that so bad. I want that so bad. Uh, okay, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Come on, give me a land deck. Throw me a bone, please. Nope. Alright, well, um... Let's Inquisition first, so we know what we're trying to get. Take the helix. Okay, so they're empty-handed. Opt. There's a land. Keep the land. All right, two turns away. Two turns away. Opponent, don't you dare get a blood moon. Don't you dare get a blood I don't think they'd want to play a blood moon because that would shut them down too. Okay, they didn't find it. They did not find it. Oh, we got their fifth land too. All right, Jace. Oh, we got it. We got it. They need to find a way to kill Jace right now. They need to find a way to kill Jace right now. And we drew a Lily. Oh! Come on, we got this. Tireless Tracker. That ain't it. That ain't it. Leveler come through. This combo, this deck is good. This deck is good. Why is this deck so good? What the heck? Why is this deck so good? Alright, well we got there against Hooky once again with the Naya Prison deck. Super awesome deck from our opponent. But I think they need a little bit more basic lands. And we got there. This deck is just working. This deck is surprisingly... Okay, this might be better than Karn Lattice. 
guys, this might just be better than Karn Lattice. Let's go on to the next game and see if it really is better than Karn Lattice. We got a game with uh, Jace Leveler combo against Magrick, and we get to be on the play. Thoughtseize with Serum Visions to loot for Leveler and a Jace. So I'm going to keep this. This looks pretty good. Have you done Karn Lattice yet? Yes, I did. We did Karn Lattice like, what is it, a couple days ago? Were you there? I don't know if you were there, but yeah, we did Karn Lattice uh, last week. It's doing pretty good on YouTube. It's got like over 7,000 views. It's got, I think it's got like 8,000 views now. All right, Thought Sees You, what you want? Lily. Looks like Grixis. Okay, Command Anger the Gods. We'll take Lily. So this is a deck that has Stubborn Denial. This is Shadow. Because I know Shadow does play Anger the Gods, but they usually do it in sideboard. Um, Alright. So play a Verdant Kitty Combs. Fetch now so that we can start scrying. Okay, lands to the bottom. We got a Wrath just in case of fishes. Because fishes are fat. Like your mom. You was working? Haven't caught the stream in like a week? Oh. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Alright, Dark Slick Shores. Pass. Threaten to counterspell. Oh, we're kind of threatening um, Vendillion Click here. What I should have done is put a stop on their draw step to bluff like I had Vendillion Click and tap some mana and then untap. Alright, opponent. Let's see if you drew Stubborn Denial. Should I actually wait? You know, I'm not waiting. They literally only had three top decks. There's no way they topped it. Wow, did they actually top the- Oh, it's Mana Leak. Okay, that's a little bit better. So the jig is up if they know about the combo, but it seems like a lot of people that we're playing against today don't really know what to expect the combo. They're just thinking, oh, it's a Jace. They don't expect a combo, though. Okay, let's opt. Try to find another Jace. Thoughtseize. I will top Thoughtseize because I don't want them to have, like, snap mana leak. They're going to fetch. So what do they have? Cryptic Command? They don't have Cryptic Command. They're just going to snap mana leak. Yep. Exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid for future chases. This is going to be a really controlly tempoy matchup, so this is going to be actually a scary one. It's going to be a tough one. See, I told you Grixis is the most common three color combination. Whoever asked that in the chat, Grixis is the most common one you run into. It's like, we ran into like two or three of them today, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But more than one for sure. And it's usually very easy to beat. No matter what deck I play, Grixis is always, like, super easy. So I don't know why people keep playing it. Okay, perfect. So if they don't have another mana leak, we should be able to Wrath here. I'm gonna save that Polluted Delta for Revolt Fatal Push, if I can. Play land just to play around Spell Pierce. See if they got Stubborn Denial. Do they? Man, opponent's top decking good. Yeah, opponent literally top double mana leak after we we turn one thought season and there was no mana leaks. And then they drew mana leak snap mana leak Tazigur. Like they literally got the nut. So this would be a perfect opportunity for a nut emote. But we'll have it in the next stream, guys. We'll have it. Thank you all again for all the subscriptions and stuff so that we can get the new emote. And we're ten away from the next one. Okay, there's a Jace, but it does nothing here. So I'm going to need to top deck like a Liliana off of it. But I guess that's the only way we can do this. It's our only out. Alright, mill ourselves. Don't mill a leveler. I don't want to reveal the information. 
Thank you. Okay, well, I can draw into a fatal push, perhaps. No fatal push. Bottom, bottom. Now, the only thing I can hope is that they ignore Jace and attack me. That's the only thing I can really hope for here. So let's see if they do that. Gotten really flooded here. You can have back Karn, the great creator. You know what? Maybe I should have just given back um, Mana Leak because I can pay for Mana Leak right now. Mana Leak is a super underrated counterspell. Nobody really plays it anymore. But it's just like... It's actually like a two-mana counterspell that, that people want in modern. Okay, they are killing the Jace, unfortunately. Can I get another Wrath? Oh, and I top deck the leveler! Insult to injury, dude. Alright, well, they got there. I'm a little bit too slow for this one. On to sideboarding. Uh, Leyline of the Void is not bad, but I think all I really need here is Dispel. Do they have Hand Disruption? I don't think they do. I didn't see any. They just had, like, Mana League Snap. Probably, like, Bolt Push, Lily, Tazigur, Stubborn Denial, Angler, Shadow. They're probably not Shadow. They had Anger the Dogs. They had Colgon's Command. Do they have Hand Disruption? Is this like a, one of those those uh, better to be safe than sorry situations? Is this what we're is this what we become? Do I have to just prepare for hand disruption? Well, they can't activate Tazigur if I bring in Leyline, so there's at least something that's doing. We can't get bolted. Uh, negate might be decent too. Collective brutality is good. I like collective brutality here. Cut Serum Visions, at least. Why is there no Milk and Bant? Because they're Rakdos Intolerant. What? What does that have to? What does Rakdos have to do with Milk? I don't get your joke, Jokovo. Um. Oh, I get it. Because Bant doesn't have black or red, so they're intolerant to Rakdos. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I got that part, but I just didn't see the the connection or the I didn't see the connection of why why that would why that's supposed to mean lactose lactose intolerant. But I see I see the connection, but I don't I didn't see the connection. Like, yeah, face palm all you want, Uncle DB. I don't get jokes. All right, what am I doing here? What am I cutting? Do I want the ley lines? I don't think I do. Someone ban you, please. <laughs> um, well, I'm just, I'm just don't really understand jokes. Like, I understand that it was trying to say lactose intolerant, but I didn't understand what Rakdos had to do with any of that. Like, all right, uh, yes, it's be on the play. Okay, dispel, double push. Yeah, this hand's not good. Lily, but we're lacking double black. But I'm gonna keep it. Mulligans to five. Lily to the bottom. Okay, well, they could still be very well in it because I do not have double black, so I need to draw a land. Any land except an island. Which is tough because most of my lands are islands. I have like six islands in here. Okay, Remand's not bad. Pretty much. Pretty much, Uncle. I'm just not- I'm just like the worst person at getting jokes in the world. Like, people will tell me a joke and I'm like, what? Like, it's not that I'm dull or anything. I'm kind of dull, but like... Okay, there's Jace. Man, I just where's my lands? I need a black land for Lily. Give me a black land. Give me a black land. Please. Please. 
fetch his, yep. I'm giving the opponent all the time to get back from this mulligan to five. Deck. Deck, please. Come on. That's something I can't cast. That's the opposite of a land. I swear if I top deck a leveler. Okay, there's a land. So shock. Liliana plus Dispel. I will dispel your mana leak. Tick up Lily. I think I'm gonna ditch her remand. I mean, remand's good against Tazger, but if they have a Tazger, they're gonna play it here. They ditch Kalidas. No, if they play a Tazger, I'll make them sack it. Like, and then I, I can get down Jace next turn. They're bolting Lily, so their plan is to snap bolt here, probably. Yep, they are gonna snap bolt. So now it's actually kind of risky to play Jace here because it'd be in range of another bolt. It's not in range of like a Kolagon's command though. And they mulligan, they only they're only twelve cards deep in their library. I think I'm just gonna throw out the Jace here. I think that's fine. Especially since we just drew the leveler. So play Jace. Um mill ourselves. Alright, opponent. See what you got. Let's Inquisition you. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's get Jace out of range first. Oh, wait, why'd I mill them? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, they got their own Wraths. Oh, that's triple hand disruption. Okay, that's another Jace. That's another Mana Leak. Ugin the Constable, Ugin the Ineffinable, Karn the Great Creator. Well, take Snapcaster. Let's, I don't know, pass and push. What was her hand? Do we need to thought seize anything? You don't even want twin ducks, baby ducks? You, sir, are a loser. Yo, Drew the Hi, RN. Man. Yo, what's up, Drew? Saving the ducks once again. The ducks are happy. Thanks for the 30. I appreciate it. That's that's crazy. That's more than the 25 from before. That's super awesome. Yo, Drew, we actually just hit our sub points. So we're getting the nut emote. It's going to be super awesome. Just wanted to let you know. How you doing? Okay, so I, I, I could thoughts he's Karn. Do I need the thoughts he's Karn, though? I don't think so. It doesn't really do anything, so... I guess I'm just gonna pass and push the Jace. Or pass and pass and push the snap to keep my Jace healthy just in case. Wait, who's that going at Jace? Alright, I will push. Give me a land, please! That is not a land. Alright. Um, tick up on me. I milled over a land. Okay, there's a lily. I think I'd rather go Thoughtseize here. Ooh, that's a good one. So Thoughtseize, Mana Leak. Thoughtseize again for Karn. Just need a land. Just need a land. Come on. Any land. You don't even want twin ducks? Baby ducks? You, sir, are a loser. Yo, thanks Look for... Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> thanks for the dollar. Thanks for the dollar, Phil. Thanks for the 30, Drew. Good to see you again, Drew. Okay, that is a... Tazger that is going to get Lily sacked. Come on, give me the land! Give me the land! Mm -mm. It's a tap land. 
All right, Lily, make you sack. Okay, it looks like we're still probably going to get there. But still. Through all of that. So we know they got Anger, Big Nico, and Big Ugin. They're just running War of the Spark dot deck, so shout us to them for a super awesome Grixis deck. You don't Hold on, even Lily. want twin ducks? Baby ducks? You, sir, are a loser. One duck buck. A duck buck. Thanks for the duck bucks, Phil. Or Phil. And thanks for the 30 duck bucks, Drew. Okay, well, we got there. So, leveler. You done, son. Check this out. Boom. Remove my library from the game. They can see. They knew it was coming. See, opponent knows the combo. See, opponent is up to date with their War of the Spark cards. They're up to date. They had Ugin the Inevitable and Karn the Great Creator in hand and Nukabalus the Dragon God in hand. They, they, know what, they know their War of the Spark. Alright, so I think we want to gate now that we know they have a bunch of scary top end. Um, and I think I cut ops because they're just filler. No, Remand on the draw is bad. But Remand is good against like Tazgers. Uh, let's keep an opt and cut one remand. The ineffable. He's uneffable. You know what F stands for in curse language? It's the F word. So he's uneffable. You can't you can't F him. He's he's unable to be F'd. Okay, um remand, collect brutality. I'm gonna keep this. Cause I can duress mode, I can remand something. So opponent does not have hand disruption. Good to know. Pull it a delta, go. And we got a lucky swamp. We drew our lucky swamp. So in the future, I'm definitely going to need a lucky swamp emote because that's been like an ongoing meme is the lucky swamp. Every time we get the lucky swamp, we're bound to win. We're bound for greatness. All right. Crack the polluted Delata and grab Watery Dave. Inquisition's pretty decent. Uh, I think I need to keep up Remand, though. And next turn I can go Inquisition plus Duress mode. Wait. Did I get the joke right? Huh? Oh, this guy's helping playing Karn Toolbox against you? Oh, he's playing my deck, isn't he? He's playing Karn Lattice in anybody's deck. Shout out to the opponent, though. Okay, there's Lily. Let's play our Lucky Swamp and Inquisition with our Lucky Swamp so we can hit really good stuff. We'll play Lily next turn. But we just gotta make sure the, clo the coast is clear this turn. Mana Leak. Um... Yeah, let's remand that, I guess. But you know what? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's... let's I'm gonna let that go. Because if they have like a card in the Great Creator or something they want to cast here, I want to remand that. Because Inquisition would whiff on that. Now they do have up Snap. Torpor Orb! Oh boy. Uh oh. How are we going to beat that? We can Lily, we can old Lily to make him sack that. Remand that. See, I should have. Oh, I should have kept the, the Inquisition. I should have remanded their mana leak. Oh, I got bit back hard. I got bit back hard. But at least I got a 5 mana 10 10. So maybe a 5 mana 10 10 is good enough to beat down. Yeah, now, now Leveler is a 10 10 beater. They literally gave us the, the Torpor Orb combo. We now have the Torp Orb combo available to us. So play Lily. Uh, play Dark Slick. Plus Lily. A ditch a Watery Grave. Okay, so we have a backup win con. No, no, no. We have a backup win con. That's not a pun, Dracovo. Think about the bright side. We can get this meme. Literally, 100 people will subscribe if I get this win with Leveler. <laughs> You know that? You know how, how many subscribers? You know how many people will subscribe if I win with the Torpor Orb Leveler? Uh, 
Okay, let's see if they got Dragon God. Oh, wait, no, they don't have the mana for Dragon God. Why are you running Field of Ruin if you got Dragon God in your deck? I guess it makes sense, because you can crack it for what you need. You need a lot of fixing for that. What is that? FB catch? So they're going to snap Bolt here. They're probably going to snap Bolt here. That's probably why they bolted Lily. K command. Okay, they're returning snap to hand. Alright, well, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, that's a second leveler! Thank you for the Torpor Orb, opponent. Thank you for the Torpor Orb. Oh, wait, they can snap K command. Yeah, it's an artifact, so they can snap K command to destroy it. Alright. So one leveler is going to go down to Snap K Command, um, but we have the backup leveler. Oh, they're not doing it. Um, all right, go to combat, attack for ten. Yep. Wait, what do they target with Snap? Wait, hold on. Give me the chat log. Show game log. What do they target with Snap? Did they not... Oh! Torpor Orb! Torpor Orb! Oh no! The Torpor Orb killed them! The Torpor Orb shut down their Snap, and now they can't K-Command my leveler! Play a second leveler! Oh boy. You done goofed, opponent. You done goofed. That is 20 power. Deal with it. Oh, we know they have wraths, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a swamp. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be one of the best wins on the channel if we do get this. Inquisition. Oh, they're getting that info. Those info wars. Oh, what is your last card? Don't have the wrath. We got there! We got there! The leveler beatdowns! And we got the match! Yo! Yo! That is sick! That's the power of the ducks right there. That's Drew and Phil powering the ducks up. With the 32 big ones. The ducks were like, we need to do this. It was the ducks. It was the power of the ducks, guys. You gotta believe in the power of the ducks. The twin ducks. The baby ducks. The baby ducks. All right, nice. We got there against Magrick, and that was a cool deck from our opponent with all the new War of the Spark cards. Wanted to see Dragon God in action. I played against Dragon God in Standard, but not in uh, not in Modern. And I think it's potential for really good, really good things. Uh, I do want to play a Grixis uh, Dragon God deck at some point, but yeah, super awesome. This deck is just so good. Why is this deck working? Even with Torpor Orb, it worked. All right, let's keep on going. Yo, what up guys? Marin here with your per video speed up session. We usually speed up the longest game in every video, and this one was the longest game. So we end up going up against Blue Red Phoenix again, and we know we have a pretty decent matchup against this because of what happened earlier, because Leyline just shuts down their um, Pyromancer Ascension again if they have that, just like the earlier guy, and um, their, what do you call it, the Arclay Phoenixes. So all we know is that we need to deal with the Thing in the Ice, and we do that with the Liliana ticking down to make them sack their Thing in the Ice, and along the way making them discard a bunch of cards and we know that we're just holding off for drawing a Jace and a Leveler at this point. So we end up drawing the Leveler and they kill our Liliana unfortunately so we can't make them discard cards anymore. Uh, we just need a Jace. So they're uh, waiting and waiting and waiting to accumulate enough cards in their hand to trigger their Arclight Phoenixes from the grave. They get another thing in the ice. We Wrath here after they flip it to kill it but they can't flip their uh, Phoenixes. Uh, they end up getting back the Phoenixes, but we save a fetch with double fatal push to hit two of them. And this is the point where it's like, okay, uh, we have enough mana to where we can actually play Jace and Leveler in the same turn. And you'll see in a second we actually do that. And check out this awesome thing that happens when we move on to the sideboard. Hope you enjoy. Play Jace. Play Leveler. Let's see if they spell Pierce. They don't spell pierce. Even if they have a spell pierce, they cannot spell pierce leveler because it's not a mirror of fate. And that should do it. 
See, level art feels way better than Mirror of Fate, because Stony Silence shuts it down, and also Spell Person Negate shut it down. And there we go, tick up Jace. And that is all she wrote. Took a while. Took a while, but we got there. But unfortunately now we're on the draw. But we can bring in a playset of Leyline of the Void, and a playset of Dispels, or three Dispels. Opponent just scooped the match! They just scooped the match. They didn't even want to deal with Jace Leveler. Alright, we, we made our opponent shame scoop. They they respected the combo too much and they shame scooped. And we gotta end it right there, guys. Dude, we got five wins! We got five wins. This is nuts. Why is this deck working? Why is this deck working? Well, All right, yeah, I think it's time to concede. Yeah, the Lily's Lily's already ready to ult. Making me sack half my lands is a good way to finish the game off. That ain't fun. That ain't cool. I asked for a ley line in my opener, not to top deck three in a row. I think we just proved, I think this video has proved that the Jace Leveler combo is better than the Karn Lattice combo for Modern. Um, I mean, you can argue it all you want, and uh, yeah, you like it, there's legitimate arguments. I think it's based on preference, really. Like, you know, Karn is awesome, and, and you can tutor, you can tutor cool hate pieces out of your board to shut down certain matchups, like, so he's got more tech in the main board, and he can just be randomly good against all the Thopter Word X and Affinity, and, um, you know, 4-drop into 6-drop is not too far off than Jace being a 4-drop into a 5-drop, and, um, like that, our people play Torpor Orb rarely. People play Tokali Honor Guard a little bit often now, and so you know, just turning Leveler into a five out of ten ten worked out for one match, um, apparently. And um, what is it? But yeah, I think we had a lot more success with uh, Jace Leveler than we did with Karn Lattice. Um, now I did try Karn Lattice and Tron, but you can try it in other decks as well, like Scred, for example, like Mono Red Prison. And um, yeah, I have seen our, our good buddy, um, fellow streamer Fluffy Wolf Two, try Karn um, Lattice in Mono Red Prison because he is a Mono Red Prison loyalist. So if you like uh, Mono Red Prison, oh, this is just a plug. But if you like Mono Red Prison, go check out Fluffy Wolf Two on Twitch. Yeah, he tried Karn Lattice in that, but yeah, I think this is honestly the best shell I could think of for um, Jace Leveler. Because, you know, having Inquisition Thoughtseize push with access to Wrath and Lily to control the board, I think it gives you the best odds of surviving to be able to get off the combo, as well as, um, you know, taking out opponent's answers in hand, and, you know, making them discard all their answers, and staying two color because Jace is triple black and Lily is... I mean, Lily is double black, and Jace is triple blue. Very mana intensive, so I don't think you want to go triple color with this combo. And mono blue, I think it's possible. Well, it's possible. I don't think it's going to give you the best answers and the best protection. So I honestly think this is the best I could think of. So yeah, if you could think of a better way to build this deck, let me know in the comments down below. But I encourage you to try this out, because this could legitimately become a thing. I think Leveler just recently spiked in price also. So... Pick up your levelers now before they spike anymore. Yo, share this video with anybody you think you'd be interested in. We need to get this around. This is awesome. Worked out super good. I'll give the deck a 9 out of 10. It is a two-piece combo deck, so it can be disrupted by things like Surgical Extraction, as well as things like Thoughtseize. So it could be disrupted, especially being on the draw against opposing Thoughtseize Liliana decks. Like we showed today, uh, it can be pretty difficult to win. Any deck can find it really difficult to win on the draw against Thoughtseize Liliana decks, but we beat it. We beat it in this video. We beat it. So we proved to be the better Thoughtseize Liliana deck. I swear, dude, two-card, easy-to-assemble combo, pretty good. But we're going to end the video right there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new for the Jankies, the gameplay every other day. Go check out the social media. Links are down below. Go check out the Twitch. Link is in the description. If you want to catch the action live, we currently stream every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, and even other times when we have time. 
Thank you very much to all my patrons as usual. Thank you to Jeru and Phil for the duck bucks, the, don the donations, generous donations, and Phil for the gift um, subscriptions and the third cannon, Black Meowder, for helping us hit our sub uh, point goal. And now we're going to have the nut emote. It's going to be sweet. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.